So, in the last KSP video, I had made a man floating base, and it was brilliant. I enjoyed doing that. The engineering challenge and trying to get balance everything up was bloody awesome. So I got to thinking, can we make a floating base, or just a floating craft, a VTOL, I suppose you could call it, on Kerbin? Obviously, yes, we've done it before. KSP have provided craft, but I wanted to make my own. And here it is. And I foolishly decided to put thrusters on the front and the back of this, which I have to say does not balance well when you've got VTOL thrusted upwards. I'm not sure if they weren't pointing exactly at the center of mass, but it did throw the thrust of this off. You can see we're listing upwards. It's not totally just to those engines in the back there, but they're not helping. I think also I wasn't considering the lift of the craft because if you've played KSP long enough you know that even the cockpit or the underbelly or the rockets they create generate their own lift as well so trying to balance this was terrible however there was good news that well, someone suggested that I use the TDC as a TDC or TCA now I remember what it was, it was Thrust Control uh, Aviator or Aero, uh, something like that, TCA KSP mod. And basically it gives you a balancing of all the thrusters, and we can see we've got about 16 on this thing, which was required before the amount of well, fuel and payload this was going to carry. I was going to make this sort of like a floating airbase or something, like in the Avengers where you have, was it the helicarrier? Yeah, I was going to try and put sort of like a surface on top of it and then perhaps land a craft on top of it. But I, in the end, I decided against that because that is really difficult to do, even with uh, the extra mods. Anyway, with all the frustrations of not being able to balance the craft in the beginning, because I didn't have the, uh, the mod installed for balancing, I decided to put eight engines onto a jet. And I brought your speed up to 318 meters per second, or 320 meters per second, let's say, to round up. And yeah, if you're curious, I did test the jet after with just the single engines, and that was only 100 meters per second extra speed from those, was it, six extra engines? So yeah, not a great speed in boosts. I suppose the weight from the engines didn't help it. Anyway, this is the mod I'm on about, uh, the TCA mod. Not only does it offer you extra control in balancing all the engines, and by the way, it doesn't use the throttle to balance all the engines, it uses the thrust limiters of the, each individual engines separately adjusted to balance the entire thing out, or, you know, just to maneuver it side, left, right, or whatever else it does. Also, it has two handy features which I explored in this episode of Caspi, and that was... The ability to have squadrons, multiple craft, and having some craft following, and also waypoints, which this is what I'm testing right now. Okay, a nice shot under the ship itself. You can see most of the parts are stock. I believe the non-stock parts, I added some batteries on top of there, which perhaps I could use stock parts for that. And I also have mech jib on top of there. Now, mech jib wasn't actually needed in doing this because I think the TCA mod operates without the use of command pods and that. And if you're interested, the TCA mod does come with a tech tree, so if you're playing career mode, then that is bloody awesome, because you can unlock the parts separately. You have to unlock the tiers, you know, so like VTOL control, balancing, uh, height adjustment, and squadrons, and whatever else it adds to it. I think you can also use it for space flight, which I'll have to be testing out automated, because this has a handy macro feature, which is one of the things was quite hard to uh, learn with uh, MechJeb, I think. It does have a similar mode in MechJeb, but I can't work it out myself, so... You see, what, with this mod, you have a macro, as you can see, I created a macro to Island 1, 
And by here, I decided, well, if I can build a huge drone, what is the smallest uh, VTOL that I can build? And here you go. It's got two of the little tiny, was it whiplash engines? No, I think it's not whiplash engines. Wheezy, Weasley, or Weasley. I'm basically untesting then the squadron. And it is bloody awesome. By the way, if my voice sounds out of sorts, or even I sound out of sorts, that's because I've got a cold, I've got a cough, irritating thing at the back of the throat that I can't get rid of. Well, hopefully it will go soon. Just don't lean too close to the headphones because you'll catch a virus over the internet. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this guy, it's just that he was supposed to be the one leading the group and think I used the wrong guy. I thought it was really great that we were to have the ability to create a squadron with these and especially having them low flying like this. I don't think I could do this with this larger vehicles because they tend to sort of like alternate between higher and lower altitudes and these had more control it seemed. However, if you look closely here, the Kraken is starting to strike these. <laughs> All the parts wobbling about, I think I know what it was, I had some struts. Uh, to attach the engines on the other side because you can't do that and I didn't want them to appear that they were attached to something else so I did a bit struts on the inside of them and then attached the rockets to them you see the struts sticking out the side here and oh yes and for some reason every time I tried to tilt them to go side to side then they would lose control I think it's the autopilot Anyway, I was interested to see how the BT Armory would work with these. So I set up one of the large um, shield hunter, no, shield heli carries that I built. And then I built these inspired by Terminator hunter killers, where they sort of like fly around with two engines and shoot anything that's on the ground. Anyway, I think I messed this up because I didn't install any radar equipment on this for the BT Armory to be able to target each other. So yeah, I had to do it manually firing. So that was a bit of a fail. And anyway, the autopilot doesn't do sort of avoidance and that, so yeah, I don't see that working quite well. Anyway, not wanting to waste these two vehicles, I decide let's do some mounting flying. Let's see how high these can go. Uh, I have to mention that I messed this up. Okay, I decided to sort of like fly these over the mountains and they don't appear to gain any height that quickly. And the one that was following us, uh, it just crashed into the ground because it wasn't... I, I designated to follow this craft, but it wasn't keeping the same altitude, so... Uh, I'll have to work it out. Perhaps the altitude doesn't get followed. And for some reason, yes, we lose control. Okay, so these aren't that good for flying across mountains. So I decide, let's build our own sporty racer. And then go flying across the mountains. By the way, if you hear any noise in the background when I'm talking, that's because they're working next door to us. What I love about this mod is that you can set it to cruise and keep the same speed and bearing, which is cool. You can also set waypoints, which is, it seems to be a bit harder. You have to make sure that the height and everything is exactly what you want it to be. But yeah, it's cool. You can even set it to go follow the terrain. So I've set it to 70 kilometers here, so it'll stay 70 kilometers above the terrain. 
the part where it falls down on is when the terrain sort of like rises very sharply. So like from 10 kilometers above sea level to 100 kilometers or 100 meters. And it takes, it doesn't follow the terrain properly there. bit of lost control by here and that was because I was trying to maneuver it I was just turning it to go and land in a different spot it does uh, this autopilot does not like that Anyway, this has been my experimentation with the VTOL craft. Let me know if you enjoyed it or whatnot. And perhaps I'll put the craft files online after taking the modded parts off. Anyway, I'm Orbiter, trust me, I'm an engineer. Haha. <laughs>